In this lesson, we're going to show you a typical ICM device explant procedure using Medtronic's Reveal Link device as an example. Whichever device you're explanting, always be sure to read the manufacturer's recommendations for how the device should be removed. Before you start, ensure that you have all the necessary equipment ready for the device explant procedure. Here we have an antiseptic for cleaning a patient's skin and a sterile surgical drape for placing over the area where we're going to be explanting the ICM device. We have a syringe and suitable needles for the administration of local anaesthetic. And we have a scalpel and suitable instruments for the actual explant procedure. We also have some gauze swabs in case of any blood loss. Palpate the anterior chest wall to locate the ICM device and then clean the skin over the device using an appropriate antiseptic solution. Identify where you're going to make your incision to remove the device and then administer local anaesthetic in that area. We normally use lidocaine with adrenaline, also known as epinephrine, to provide good local anaesthesia with a reduced risk of bleeding. Check that the local anaesthetic is working, and if so, make a small skin incision at one end of the device through which you intend to explant it. Pay careful attention to hemostasis throughout your procedure. Using blunt dissection, and with careful attention to hemostasis throughout, slowly and carefully work the ICM device loose. This can sometimes be tricky, as the device may have become adherent to surrounding tissues. Once the device is freely mobile, it can then be extracted through the incision using the forceps. Put the explanted device safely to one side for the moment. Once you've completed the extraction procedure, the device should be cleaned using a solution of at least 1% sodium hypochlorite, followed by rinsing in water. The device should then be returned to the manufacturer for environmentally friendly disposal. The device must never be incinerated because the presence of a lithium battery means there is a risk of explosion. Once hemostasis has been achieved, close the wound using surgical glue, surgical adhesive strips, or with a suture, depending upon your preference. Finally, apply a suitable dressing over the wound. Remove the surgical drape and ensure that the patient is well. Before the patient leaves the department, answer any questions and ensure that they understand any subsequent follow-up arrangements. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how Met Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Met Mastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.